that you gave up this many points. Uh, what was lacking uh, defensively for you guys tonight? Pass hard. Um, too many mental lapses, transition points, not physical enough. Just not our brand of basketball for a full 48 minutes. So um, we hurt ourselves early and we tried to play catch up. And you can't do that in this league. No matter who you're playing, you got to respect your opponent and uh, play a full 48. So we got another opportunity, but you know, we got to start better and finish. Did you get the sense early that you guys weren't playing with that same level of energy and enthusiasm that you normally play with? I think it was pretty evident. For that first quarter, I think they had, what, they had 30 or 40 points in first, so that's not our identity. So I think uh, everyone understood that. You know, um, we understood that we had to play better. And, um, I think we end up doing that, you know, later game. But you can't start off like that in the NBA. You know, you expect to just turn on the switch and win. I know you guys, after the Portland game, were talking about not playing up to your standards, the Magic standard. What is the Magic standard, and what is it going to take for these next few games to get back to that level? Uh, the Magic standard just playing hard, playing together, competing on both ends of the floor for a full 48 minutes. And uh, it's going to take that for the next couple games, man, uh, just especially get ourselves prepared for the playoff, but not looking too far ahead, just taking it one game at a time and um, locking in every game. It has to be everybody, you know. I mean, we can't. Be just one guy, two guys, you know, we're gonna need our whole team to be locked in in order to, you know, continue to succeed and have a successful rest of the season. You mentioned, you mentioned earlier getting off to, to a slow start. That's kind of been the way that this team's gone off in first quarters here late, lately. How, how do you turn, how do you as a group turn that around and start start playing from ahead rather than trying to catch up? I think it starts with preparation, just coming in the game, locked in, ready, getting a good warm up, getting out there on time, um, and, and being calm, man. Don't get too high, don't get too low, stay together. We've been doing it all year, man. So. Uh, it's kind of like a wake-up call. Every once in a while, you get one of these, but um, gotta let it go and get ready for the next one, man. And, and really just stay together and make sure we do everything we need to do to preparate before to make sure we're all on the same page. Getting, getting kind of the wake-up call. You got one one day. You get, you get kind of get one tonight to book to bookend the week. Mm -hmm. How do you find that consistency, knowing that you know you're a, a week now away from from the playoffs beginning, or two weeks away from the playoffs? Beginning? Staying in the moment. You know, uh, this is the NBA. So the good thing is you got another opportunity right around the corner, and um, just staying together. You know, through all these ups and downs, we got to stay together and keep having each other's back and understand that we put in the work, so believe in the work, preparate uh, correctly, and everything else will take care of itself. Just uh, from an energy standpoint, when you came in, you seemed to bring bring a little bit of that energy to kind of stabilize the team. How are how you feeling uh, out there, and, 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 you know, how did it feel to kind of just get, get that rhythm going with your job? I feel good, man. I've been working my ass.